Hello ladies and gentlemen, Teveron here and welcome back to some more Slaying of the Spire where once again we are going to be doing a daily challenge. Looks like our character is the Ironclad, modifiers are time dilation, all enemies start with the slow debuff. If I'm remembering correctly that's the debuff that the head enemy on the third floor has that for everything, for every card you play in that turn it increases the damage by 10%. Big Game Hunter. Elite enemies are now swarming the Spire and drop better rewards. That's sort of a uh, positive and a negative. Binary. Card rewards contain only two cards. Okay, this is interesting. Let's do it. Yes, indeed. Time for a challenge. Sadly, we get no cards or relics there. Uh, they are indeed swarming the tower. Well, we're not on ascension mode now. And if we're going to try to get as high a score as possible, we're going to want to fight as many elites as possible. Looks like the most that we can fight is four. So I think we'll do that. And we'll kind of do it in a zigzaggy pattern here so we can hit several campfires as well. Alright, well we get to keep our healing relic this time, so we don't have to be quite so worried about preventing all the damage. Cool, hopefully we can kill it this next turn, it'll still have the vulnerability. 16, uh yeah, we can get there. Bloodletting or seeing red? Not sure I want either of these. Seeing red would enable us to take some more expensive stuff. Of course, bloodletting would too. Let's take seeing red. and Hopefully, that is a good choice. Oh yes, two random upgrades. For sure. Bash and defend. Fine. 114. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to hit another shop on this floor, so we might as well go here and see if there's anything worth having. Well, Needle and Thread would have been a good one, but we're way far away from buying that. Could just remove a card. Don't think I want to go with Combust. We don't have Evolve, so Power Through is not something I'd like to take either. Yeah, I think we're just going to remove a card here, and that is going to be a basic strike. Um, so we could get 5 max HP, or we could get a relic and become cursed. We don't have another shop that we can hit. Or maybe we do. Actually, we do. I had forgotten we can zigzag back and forth and do that. So... I guess we will take the regrets. And we ha may have regrets about taking those regrets in future. Let's see. I think we want to go this route and hit two campfires, then over to here. Right, so we can kill you. Um, going to take some damage. Right, well, as long as you're not attacking, I'm not going to worry about blocking. And we gotcha. I definitely don't want Combust. Could take Burning Pact, try to get an Exhaust Synergy going. We don't have any of the cards that are integral to that, like uh, True Grit and Second Wind. Also really needs a finisher card like Rampage. 
Uh, let's give it a shot though. It will pair fairly well with our seeing red, giving us extra energy. So we'll try that. Go over here. We're definitely going to upgrade. Seeing red for zero cost seems good. Drawing three cards also seems good, but I think we need the energy first, so we'll take that. See how we do versus this elite here. Hmm. It's not a great hand to pop it. Let's see. Yeah, that is exactly it. For each card played this turn, Logavulian takes 10% more damage from attacks. Would really like to get a three attack hand to pop him. So let's end this turn. Why did you wake up? Have you been reworked? Can we no longer prepare ourselves like that? I very much wish I had known that. Because when we wake you up by hitting you, you have the first turn stunned. That's horrible. Alrighty then. Well, I guess we block and bash. So you were stunned? It was just showing you were attacking? I am so confused. Uh, I think we're going to need to take this. Let's go ahead and throw a weak potion though. Need to do a bunch of damage to this thing as quickly as possible to get it dead before its debuffs on us get us to the point that we can't actually kill it. Well, we're going to go seeing red, burning pact, exhaust a defend. Yeah, we'll just play our whole hand now. Luckily, we're stacking lots of vulnerable on it too and taking no damage this turn, which is awesome. Debuff incoming. But we've done enough that I think we can probably get it killed here. Don't think we want to play Burning Pact now. As we don't really have zero cards to be casting at this point. Woo! Well, that was scary. I'm wondering whether that was a bug or intentional, though. All right, more exhaust synergy. Fiendfire is very strong. Can do a ton of damage. Demon Form's also very strong, though. Let's go Demon Form, because I'm not certain that this exhaust synergy is going to come together. Go here. See, we got another campfire before the next one. We should probably heal. As much as I'm reluctant to do that. We get curse cancelization. Sure, that could be useful. Let's upgrade demon form. Wish, wish, wish that this reduced its casting cost, but that is not so. Yeah, something weird is going on here. Like, these things have artifact, but it's not showing the symbol down here. And it's not also not showing the slow debuff. Wonder whether the latest patch has broken something. I do not know, but we are going to demon form since we have the extra energy from Lantern. Then hit here. We're going to just take the eight since anchor is going to prevent that. Now we should be in much better shape. Uh, I think we're going to seeing red. We're going to burning pact away this regret. And we can play our whole hand. So we shall really would have loved to have get, gotten this guy dead before he attacked, but wasn't able to quite pull that off. All right, let's finish this. And we might as well just block all incoming. All right, eight. Well, we're going to go for you because there is a chance we can get you dead. And actually, we are able to. Did we get vulnerable applied there? Do they not have artifact? 
I'm just so confused. Though Demon Form's doing good work for us, so there's that. I uh, should be able to just kill you, thanks to Demon Form. Uh, we will take Limit Break. Tiny Chest, gain 30 gold, 10% more likely to find treasure in question mark rooms, sure. Need to go to this shop, so we'll head that direction. Okay, so we have a opportunity to fight another Elite here, or just find loot. Well, we are fighting an Elite. Okay, slow, that one's stuck. Yeah, I'm not sure what exactly is going on, but it's starting off with a debuff, which bothers me. Um, demon form should allow us to overcome that, though, so. All right, we're gonna hold on to that limit break for now. Hmm. Yeah, really didn't want to draw the regrets again that soon, but not much I can do about that. Oh, need to play into the slow, though. I should have played the blocks before the attacks. Is it worth limit breaking now? It probably is. Uh, let's burning pact away this. Bash, you've already got vulnerable. Uh, limit break. Boom, we just want to draw as many attacks as possible now. Should only take one or two to just kill this thing outright. And there we go. Awesome. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Excellent. I don't want either of these. We'll skip it. Okay, Inflame is playing into our plan. We are definitely a strength deck at this point. Uh, Viara is also on that tangent. think though we for sure want to remove regret, so we'll do that. Which leaves us the ability to buy an inflame, though spot weakness is technically better. Let's take the spot weakness, shall we? And we'll fight another elite and hopefully not die to it. We are quite low. Luckily, we're starting off with demon form in every single fight, so I'm not going to be upset. Lantern has certainly been good for us, allowing us to play our demon forms out with no repercussions. Let's go bash. Strike. I guess we'll just pass. Okay, we're vulnerable. You're incoming. This will boost your strength. Say 12. So it'll be 15, we'll do 30. Um, think I would rather block and then double strike and we can almost certainly kill you next turn. We are very low, but you are very dead, so there's that. Healing is 50% more effective during combat, so that will help with burning blood. Very, very happy to have that. Block potion should help too. Will we take a second limit break? We shall. Go here, we have to rest. There's no way we're going to beat a boss on 15 health. 39 is going to be pushing it. Hexaghost is scary at times. And for once, we do not draw our demon form. Let's try to get to it, shall we? Let's exhaust a strike. We didn't get there. Spot weakness is not going to help us. Well, let's apply some Vulnerable then. Right, yep, your first big attack. We're definitely going to weaken you. I think we're going to drink this Block Potion and Demon Form, because we need to get that going. Still taking some damage here. Right, for incoming. Weakness is helping us out a lot. You're attacking, so we'll do that. Let's sing Red... We'll Burning Pact, try to draw some attacks. Well, we got one. And I guess we'll play these out. Yeah, we will fire these off for sure. Take six, and this fight should be over. We're at 36 strength already. Um, 
more strength, please. Just defend, burning pact wouldn't let us cast anything, we'd be out of energy. Say bash. Say dead. Well, that went rather well. Impervious, double tap. Both of those are quite good. Wouldn't mind having a reset switch, but double tap's really good with our strength build, so let's take that. Okay, we can get Runic Pyramid, which is good. It can let us delay until we can cast our demon form. Get potions after every combat. Astrolabe is fun. Choose and transform three cards, then upgrade them. We have no idea what they'll turn into. I think I'm going to go for the potions. Potions are very useful. Hopefully the next boss does not offer us Sozu. Alright, traveling along the left here, we can hit four elites and three campfires. We can also hit a shop, though it is fairly early, but I think that's our best route at present. Alright, you're a bit of an issue for us. But we do have demon form. Might as well defend even though you're not attacking. Okay, 10 incoming. Well, let's block as much as we can and then start dealing some damage. Not going to pop the seeing red. Um... Yeah, spot weakness and limit break. Then do we prevent some or deal 24 damage? That's 20 incoming. This is only 3 block. Let's deal 24. Sure. Gonna have to depend on our burning blood plus magic flower to pull us through. See, Bash, the vulnerable is not going to go through. Uh, we're going to see in red and just play our whole hand here, though. And you're dead, so I guess that wasn't necessary. Didn't bother to do the math. Um, Flying too weak is good. We're kind of getting outbalanced as far as defensiveness goes. We've only got four block cards now, so I don't think we can afford to take these. We'll skip it. Right, more armor centric enemies here. Well, even though it's going to cause us to take some damage, I think we always have to play demon form. Well, no, it won't. Remember, we've got anchor. I'm reminding myself, not you. All right, limit break. Let's start with a burning pact. We'll exhaust the non upgraded defend. That seems okay. Let's see red. See four. Say bash. Should play this defend first. I keep forgetting about the slow. Then we'll do 18. We'll take two damage. Doesn't seem too awfully bad. All right. Spot weakness. There we go. Did we really exhaust its artifact that fast, or are we just blowing through the artifact and actually applying the vulnerability now? Huh. Oh, burning packed away this. That's not what I was hoping for. Nothing really to do but defend. Just about any attack would have killed there, I think. But we've got him now, so do that. Sword Boomerang. Again, we need some more defensive cards, but Sword Boomerang is so good in a strength build. Let's do that. See what's at our shop, even though we don't have a ton of money. Oh, Paper Frog, I would have loved to have been able to get you. Extra healing could be really good for us. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with. We'll take the Blood Vial and heal a little bit extra. Ah. 
Hopefully these elites are not the death of us. Sure, a little extra energy at times. Um, yeah, let's remove a card. It'll be a basic strike. Don't want to remove our defends. They're the only block cards we have. Alrighty. Well, healed for three there, I'm pretty sure. With the magic flower helping us out. Let's see. We don't have demon form. We can double tap strike. That won't kill you. Double tap bash wood. We could do some damage here, but that'll buff his strength. See, we do need to kill you if we can. Uh, let's seeing red get the slow going. So, 12 and now that will kill you. Yeah, double tap to that will kill you now. Say defend. So, we'll kill you. And then bash you. All right, that felt pretty good. Could go ahead and explosive potion, but I think we're going to pass. We're wasting an energy. Uh, I think that's fine. All right, demon form. We've got to play that. Going to take some damage. Maybe I should have popped the explosive potion. Hmm. Well, we're going to do it now. Then I guess we just block it up. I think it's going to be fine to limit rake at this point. We've still got one more in the deck. At some point, we'll try to upgrade one or both of those to where they don't exhaust when we play them. All right, that's 36 damage incoming just from him. See, I think we spot weakness. Sword Boomerang, 15 damage. Three times. Unfortunately, we didn't kill you. Defend. Actually, just killing you prevents more damage, so we're going to go real low here. Yeah, you attack for a ton. Uh, let's Burning Pact. Limit break. Yeah, we're going to limit break and kill you. Feel like fighting all these elites may not be the best thing for us to do. Let's start with a sword boomerang. All right, we didn't kill you, but you're the only one attacking, so we'll do that. And now we can maybe just focus on you. Unfortunately, we didn't draw two attacks, but double tap makes up for that. Good deal. Frozen Eye, it's meh. See the order of our draw pile. Do we want a third limit break? Uh, I don't think we do. I think just upgrading at least one of the other ones is going to do more than that would. So we could heal and go for another elite. Yeah, we're trying for as high a score as we can get, so we might as well do that. Let's rest. Up to 42. Then heal up to 45, which seems fine. 12 incoming. Well, we can defend once and prevent that. Then we got tons of energy that we're not actually going to be able to spend. No use limit breaking when we have no strength going on. Does nothing. Okay, 18 this time. Well, we need to block as much as possible. And I guess we're going to just go ahead and pop our seeing red. Uh, let's drink this first. Yeah, that was what I was hoping for. Demon form rather than double tap strike. Alrighty. 
say, I think we go ahead and limit break. Then we're going to defend for sure, then sword boomerang. Yeah, it's just taking us a long time to really get set up and going with what, we, what we're doing here. 19 plus 15, so that'll actually be 20. It's not enough to kill. Got a ton of damage coming in. Wondering if I should pop this to try to get another defend. Uh, no, let's deal some damage. We may have to start avoiding some elite fights here, folks. If we don't just straight out die. 18, that's 30 damage. Um, we do not have enough to prevent that. 18, 18. See, that'd be 36 if we double tap it. Plus 18, that's not enough to kill it. And we could spot weakness and limit break, which would take us to 30 strength. Still wouldn't be enough. If we had one more energy, maybe we could do it. Nope, I just think we are dead. Yeah, one more energy would have allowed us to double tap this and kill it. Well, darn it. Maybe we should have been more conservative. But personally, I like going for the gusto, win or lose. So, that's how it goes sometimes. Hopefully, we'll do a little bit better in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like below. It really does help tremendously. And of course, subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. I have been Tevron, and until next time, friends, be excellent to each other.